If you live in a developed country, you are lucky. Pretty much everyone living in the developed part of the world has access to fresh, clean water. Many of us who are fortunate enough to have running tap water often take this for granted. In Sub-Saharan Africa, only 57% of the population has access to fresh water. Women often walk over four miles a day to get to a water source, and the average weight that women carry on their heads is approximately 44 pounds. Even if they get to a water source, the water is not clean, and they often have no choice but to drink water contaminated with bacteria. If fresh water is readily available to you, you are very fortunate because we need water for a lot of our necessities. We need water to drink, to cook, to shower, and to clean. Water is a big part of our lives, but do you think about the water we're using every day? We take the availability of our water for granted sometimes, but water is one of the major issues we are facing environmentally, and it's relevant to everyone. Yes, tap water in the United States is cheap, and we are fortunate that the Environmental Protection Agency has enacted the Safe Drinking Water Act to ensure the quality of our drinking water. The fact of the matter is, our tap water still contains thousands of contaminants, up to 20,000 in fact, and we are exposed to these contaminants on a daily basis. We are exposed to contaminants when we drink tap water and also when bathing because the water contaminants can be absorbed through our skin. Water often gets contaminated from industrial activities. Water contamination can occur as a result of processes from pharmaceutical production, agriculture, and manufacturing. You might have noticed that large industrial firms are often located by large bodies of water. This is often because it allows access to cheap water and it enables an unnoticeable way to discard waste into water. Our current regulatory environment is not enough to salvage water from industrial contamination. The EPA is behind in identifying these toxic chemicals in our water, only currently listing around 100 as potentially harmful. Our access to fresh water may not be guaranteed unless we educate ourselves and help our policymakers take appropriate action. Our mission at Save the Water is to conduct scientific research to identify and eliminate harmful chemicals from our drinking water. We are currently on our way to building a research lab to move forward with our mission. Your first step to protecting our water is visiting our website, savethewater.org. We cannot save the dolphins, the bald eagle, the big cats, or even ourselves if we do not save the water first. Educate yourself. Show your support today.